and welcome to the AMFA, the Ask Me Fucking Anything video. Yeah, I said I'd do it, and I'm totally doing it. Uh, I This was a little bit of a different setup than I thought it was going to be, but uh, I decided to now well, answer some of this while playing Planetside 2. So you can kind of see that in the background while I'm doing this. Um, I've never actually played the game, so uh, you're probably going to notice that the beginning of this gameplay is going to be pretty much me having no idea what the hell I'm doing and just kind of like making very stupid decisions um anyway to the to the amfa stuff you guys did a great job no one asked me any questions <laughs> anyway uh but i that's not to means i'm not going to answer any questions because when i first started doing this uh, i was asked a couple of questions initially and i'm just going to use some of those and i thought of a couple questions myself so you know fuck it might as well answer a couple questions that i figure eh, if someone actually had on their mind but just didn't ask I'd answer it myself. So let's start off. This was a really common one when I first started doing this. Who am I? <laughs> okay, well, I've, I've said it before, but I'll go ahead and say it in this video. Why not? Hi, I am Johnny Luminare. I make Let's Plays and reviews of video games, and I like to make other gaming related content. And. I haven't really gotten to the whole gaming related content yet, but uh, that's a, I'll save that part for another question. So yeah, I'm Johnny Luminare, I do that. Uh, a little bit about myself, I am going to college for game design, and things I like to do with my free time are I like to sword fight, literally, like I actually train with a German longsword, and that's the current discipline I'm going under, and I also like to parkour. And those are some of the things I like to do with my free time, other than playing video games, obviously. So, those are just some little bit of things about me and my interests and whatnot. So, I mean, to be honest, I don't really like talking about myself. I always kind of find it narcissistic, so I'm going to try to find a way to get out of this. Uh, how are you today? I really hope you said okay, or good, or something, because I, I want you to feel like that. Anyway, as you can see, a second ago in the gameplay, I'm sorry, I like to talk about the gameplay, I see, I was shooting at a tank, because I'm a fucking genius. <laughs> anyway, uh, on to the second question. Uh, who got me into Let's Plays? Alright, so, this is gonna be a guy probably none of you have heard about, um, I totally understand that, but his name is, uh, Halloween4545, and... I don't know, like, I just found him one day going on the internet, and he did mostly horror-related videos and stuff, and I, I started watching them, and I don't know, he just really jammed with me. He was really relaxed, he was calm, he was funny. I really liked watching him, and I still do. He's a pretty cool guy. I'm probably going to put a link somewhere in the video right about now. Go check out his stuff if you want a kind of a relaxed dude who plays horror games. I mean, he's, he's a good guy. Uh, anyway... Next question. I'm sprinting through these so far. Um, why do I like doing Let's Plays? Why do I like doing this? Uh, okay, so this is a bit of a complex answer, actually. Uh, whenever I was young, me and my brother would kind of just sit back and play video games together. I was young. I couldn't really beat any because I was stupid and didn't understand basic game concepts. But my brother could. So I just kind of sit there and watch him play. And the entire time he played, we just kind of talk about what was going on in the game. And even what wasn't going on in the game, we just sit there and talk to one another. And it was a way that me and him could bond. And I really liked that. And when I heard about Let's Plays being a thing, I was like, oh my god, I would totally do that again. Because it reminded me of, you know, being with my brother and doing that. And I like to share that experience. And I thought, you know, I'd like to share that experience with other people. So that's kind of why I do this thing on the internet. Because... It reminded me of something I really enjoyed when I was a kid, and I kind of hope to recapture that a little bit. And, yeah, that's why I do Let's Plays. That was a, yeah, like I said, a bit of a weird and complex answer, but, yeah. Will I ever stream? Um, if, possibly. So, the thing that I like about streaming, or, like, the things I see about streamers that kind of irks me is... I'm a person that likes to respond to people. I like being responsive. I like making everyone part of the group and whatnot. And every time I see people streaming, they usually aren't interacting with their fans. They're just kind of playing the game, and occasionally they look over and go like, huh, I saw a comment or whatever. And I don't like that. I like to be very responsive. And I understand if someone's streaming and they have like thousands of people screaming at them all at once. 
but for me if I was gonna stream I want to be able to like respond as best as I could to literally everyone because you're there trying to talk to me you're enjoying the experience I feel or trying to anyway as I play a game so for me if I was ever going to stream it would be I'd have to do it very carefully I'd want to have a way to be able to see people commenting to me people talking to me interact with my fans do what they want you know stuff like that so yes I would like to stream but I just don't feel that I can do it yet because a I don't know how to stream I mean I can sh apparently stream to twitch from the ps4 but I'm not sure how the hell to do it and I doubt I could see any of the comments of people trying to talk to me while I was streaming so it just mean me pretty much playing a game having no input to anyone else and I don't really like that I want to be able to interact with people you know so the the short answer is eventually yes I would like to stream whenever I get the setup right whenever I can interact with everyone and do everything I would love to stream for you guys I'd I'd love it of course, I'd also have to find the right game. I might maybe Plant Side Two might be it. Uh, anyway, that was the simple the simple answer to that question is eventually. What will I play next? Uh, okay. There's a there's a couple options for this. So I have Strider, and it's a fun game. I played the demo of it, and I was really impressed. So I might do that as a small series. Um, apparently. Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin, uh, the Scholar of the First Sin is an option because I actually haven't played the, the new release of it. I played the 360 version when it came out, but apparently the uh, updated one is way different. Apparently there's a lot of new stuff in it, character, in, like enemies are in different placements, weapons are in different placements, just shit's way different. So I'd kind of be interested in playing and experiencing like what they've changed and a bunch of the little story aspects and whatnot. So I'd be cu I'd be super curious of seeing into that. Um, sweet, I got rank two. <laughs> yeah, I, like I said, I just started playing. I'm just learning the controls, and I haven't played an FPS in a while. Did that guy just teabag me? Fuck that guy. I mean, if he if he teabagged me. Um. Anyway, I got horribly distracted. Uh, where are the reviews? <laughs> where are they at though? Okay, so the reviews are coming. I'm in the process of kind of moving. Uh, like uh yeah i'm pretty much having to move and uh we're finding an apartment probably tomorrow me and my roommate because we're trying to move somewhere closer to my school and that has cheaper rent so we're going through a little bit of that process so the reviews are kind of on hold i do have the scripts written i do have them all written i know what i want to say i just don't have the time to actually get in front of a camera and say it all and practice lines and all that which is unfortunate because i actually really like doing the reviews i find them to be a lot of fun and speaking of the reviews themselves, uh, to kind of give you a small glimpse into my world as I do them, so I don't have much. Like as you can tell, I'm not. A, I don't. I don't have a crap ton of money, and I don't know what the hell this guy was doing. He was just kind of sitting in the corner, and he didn't even fire at me once. I think. Anyway, I got distracted again. I don't have much. I have a laptop that cannot play video games properly at all, like even remotely. I can't record anything, that's why I don't do PC stuff, but I'll get more into that because it's another question. Um, but <laughs> for that Bloodborne review video, it was 19 minutes long. So my computer uh, can successfully render a one minute video. Now you might be asking yourself, how in the flying hell did you make a 19 minute video if your computer can only render one minute? Well the reason why it only renders one minute of video is because it overheats to a degree that uh, like it just makes my computer feel like it's boiling lava and what I do is to make sure that a video is can reach longer than one minute is I went to <laughs> I go to the refrigerator in the freezer I get a bag of ice and I put it underneath my computer and I fill it every couple minutes and place it in different spots on my computer where I think it's getting hot and I pretty much just sit there and hope that my computer isn't going to randomly shut off shut off and completely just destroy the video I made. When I was making the Bloodborne video, that it took me like 16 tries because every single time I'd edit it and try to render it, it would crash and I had to start all over again. So it's an absolute bitch to do it. But I enjoy doing it, so I, I get it done. You know, I just I've got I'm sure now that I'm doing it for a second time it'll be a lot easier. But until then 
yeah the reviews are hard to do and because I'm moving soon it's gonna be a little bit of an odd schedule with them but I do have them written I'm still working on them I'm gonna keep doing them uh, but yeah <laughs> I should make a video about how I do the reviews and the setups like that because I think I don't know it would just be fun to show you guys what I have to kind of do other than just the ice thing there's a bunch of other shit I gotta do but moving on from the where where are the reviews at when will I get PlayStation Plus? <laughs> when I can afford it. <laughs> okay, so, like I said, not a dude with a lot of money. So, I can't really afford PlayStation Plus. <laughs> but, when I can, I will definitely get it. I might be able to afford it here pretty soon. If I, if I do Dark Souls 2, I'll definitely get it. Because I want to have some PvP and whatnot. Because, I mean, I was kind of sad playing Bloodborne and I wasn't able to fight anybody. But uh, Dark Souls 2, yeah, absolutely. I'll totally turn on that. And I'll still probably solo bosses, but just for the sake of PvP and being invaded, I will totally get PlayStation Plus because it's a lot of fun. So, when I can afford it, I'll get it. And that's that answer. Um, when will I make other Let's Play... I mean, when will I make other videos other than the Let's Plays? Because I keep saying that over and over again, that I'm going to make other gaming-related videos. Once again... It's a problem of moving. It's just moving is hectic. I know it's gonna take a while. I don't. I want to be kind of settled in when I start making those videos. I have ideas for them. I've got a video like planned out already. It's a three-month progress video kind of thing, and I'm gonna upload like one of those every month. It's a. It should be interesting. I'm really excited to do those. I. I'm really excited to try them out. I'm gonna see how they go. Uh, let's see what. So. Once again, when I move, that's the answer to that question. Will I will I ever play anything that isn't on the PS4? Absolutely. If I can figure out a way to record it, if there's a way that I can just get it working, or if I can do anything like that, I will absolutely play games other than on the PS4. It's just that right now, this is the only thing I can record on, and it's the easiest thing that I can edit videos on. So, yes, if I can figure it out, if there's a way to do it, I will absolutely do it. Because I don't just want to be... I'm not a single console kind of person. I like... I just like playing video games, man. I don't care where the video game is. I don't care what the process was. If you made a good video game, I'm going to fucking play it. That's all I care about. Good video games. Right? I mean, that's... that's. I feel like most people should feel like that. As long as the game's good, it doesn't matter where the hell it came from. Anyway, moving on. <clears throat> what do I use to edit videos other than on the PS4? So... Whenever I use reviews and whatnot, right now I'm using Lightworks. It's a free little software program thing that's actually pretty good. It's not perfect. I'm I've never used it before, and that's why some of my videos don't aren't edited amazingly because I'm having to learn this program I've never used before. But uh, I'm using that right now. It's pretty good. If you want a free little like video editing software, I think it's pretty damn good. Of course, I could be saying this and someone could comment like, that thing is just absolute shit and you don't even realize it yet. It's adding viruses to your computer as we speak. I doubt it, but it's a possibility. <clears throat> and, let's see, what other questions? Oh, looks like I ran through the questions. Amazing. Like I said, no one really said anything, but I just remember these being like common questions that would sort of be asked or like when I first started doing this, so... Once again, I'm, I like being responsive to people, so even if you ask a question that I wasn't able to address here, like, you can leave another comment or whatever. Oh, wait. When am I going to do another one of these? Probably when I hit, like, 100 subscribers or so. Like, whenever I have a lot more people watching this, I'll do another one. Anyway, as you can see, <coughs> we're coming back down to the gameplay real quick. Looks like we're about to completely lose this, uh, our building, which is great. Yep, and I'm just going to de get decimated. Amazing. But anyway, yeah, that was the AMFA. Uh, if you like the video or whatever, I, I don't know. I'm not very good at the whole liking video, comment videos, whatever the hell's. So if you like whatever, to do something or comment or something like that. I'm, I am terrible at this. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching. If you were entertained, and if you, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video that I'm doing. Till then, bye. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. <laughs> Can you tell I don't script anything? I don't script shit. I just sit in front of this thing and I just start talking. And I hope...